California. Uh, they got all these trees that lines up like in a row. It, it you, I, it's hard to explain until you see it for yourself. Like when I went there and I saw all these trees, it's different than the tree in uh, Louisiana. I look at that, I go, wow, you got all these trees. It looks kind of different and they have a uh, smaller branches and smaller stem, you know, s smaller roots, but they're tall though. They go up, they shoot straight up and they're tall, taller than what we have here in uh, California. Uh, Atlanta is the hub of uh, anything, man. It's the, like it's like the uh, capital entertainment of Georgia. Georgia is the last 13 colony. Yeah, the very last. It's considered or it's known as a peach state. Uh, Coca-Cola is about south. It's it's about 10 minutes away from the main Atlanta. It's south, east. If you go down on south and then take east, it's right there next to uh, Jonesboro or Morrow, Georgia. Yeah, right around that area. Um, now, when I went there, I went to uh, Jonesboro or Morrow. I think it's Jonesboro, Jonesboro, something like that, southeast of Atlanta, and I met this uh, Cambodian dude, and he said, and I asked him for like two pounds of shrimp, but instead he gave me like five pounds of shrimp, I'm like, man, what's up with that, and he said this, he said, uh, all the dark-skinned Asian live in uh, south, southeast or south, southwest of Atlanta. And then all the lighter skin live on uh right there by uh Gwinnett County. So it's northeast of Atlanta. I look at that I laugh, I go, wow, how can you how can you say something like that, man? I mean, this is Georgia, right? It's America. You're free to go wherever you wanna go. You wanna go northeast or northwest, whatever. It's your choice. Uh so yeah, I think that's everything I said is like the first reason. All right, second reason is if you're a veteran you pay whatever the initial cost to, to get your car registered, depending on your years, makes, and model. But it usually depends on the price of the car and the year. The newer the car, the more expensive the registration is. But it goes like this. I pay 130 for my uh, Toyota Yaris 2007. 130 on the initial registration and smart check uh, or vehicle uh, inspection. And then the second year came, I only pay a dollar. So if you're a veteran, you only pay a dollar after that. So no matter what you got, even if you have a brand new car, you pay the initial cost, whatever that may be, I don't know. And then after that, it's just one year. And then a year after that, and so on and so on. So every year that you live there, after that, it's just one dollar, one dollar, one dollar. Now, I don't have, I have it in my, uh, in my backpack somewhere at the storage but uh i can show you the proof that i pay a, a dollar after that so you can ask any veteran that lives there they they say the same thing so that's very cool huh and they're very uh veteran friendly if you go to dmv just like in texas they got a lane for uh they, they have a ticket they, they make you take out this uh ticket and there's two lanes this one for the regular people and the other one for veteran so i took out the veteran first i want to go to uh, get my id and uh, the only way you get your ID is you got to go to this place. It's not even DMV. It's called DSS. Driver's Social Service, something like that. It's called DSS. And uh, the place that's being held is being held at a, at a, a, a GPS, Georgia State Patrol, or GSP. There we go. You got to go to GSP Station, which stands for Georgia State Patrol. Uh, it's equivalent to state police, like a CHP we got here, or NHP in Nevada. California Highway Patrol, something like that. It's a state police. So you got to go there to get your, it's a place called DSS. You got to go there to get your driver license. Uh, yeah, you got two lanes. You got, you got two, two, uh, sections. One for the veteran. You take out a ticket for a veteran. So I went there. You got like, I don't know how many people there, like two, maybe 300. And I went in there. I took out a ticket for the veteran and I, I was calling less than five minutes. I'm like, wow. That's some good stuff, man. They love veterans down there. And uh, 99%, what, the place where I live at, Atlanta alone, it's like 99% African American. But you know what? It doesn't bother me who they are, what they are. It don't matter what your race, ethnicity. It doesn't bother me because um, 
when I was there, I say the same thing. Well, I saw the same thing over and over is that people are engaged in this rat race. You know, they get up, they go to work, they pay their bills, and they do the same thing over and over every day. No matter where you go, I always see the same, well, the average or the standard deviation, which is 68% and above. Uh, you always see the same people, I mean, not the same people, but the same, the general idea is that people get up, go to work, pay their bills, get up, go to work, pay their bills. They always do the same thing over and over. And that's just, just something normal. So, uh, if you like Coca-Cola, go there. It's down in, uh, like I said, the Southwest. If you go down Southwest, Coca-Cola Station is right there. They moved from, uh, it wasn't there. I, I, no, I think it was somewhere else. But then they moved to Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, CNN is right there too. If you ever drive down uh, uh, Atlanta, Georgia, it's not, it's Atlanta, Georgia freeway, it's not the same as what you get here in a, uh, in Los Angeles County, man, it's it's very packed, but it's the the traffic flow real by real quick. So even if they have traffic traffic jam, the emergency vehicle will ride on the right on on the shoulder on the right hand side, and and any other car that wish to follow that, it's I I seen a lot that a regular car would follow the uh, ambulance or the police. Usually it's an ambulance. They they ride on the right hand side, the right shoulder, and they just follow that it's pretty awesome man and only in Atlanta where I saw this you can drive on the right hand side shoulder but there has to be a a, a signal it has to be a light for instance on if you drive on a uh, Atlanta to uh Gwinnett County to uh I, I can't think of the name of the city but uh yeah Gwinnett County that's all I can tell you so you go north northeast of Atlanta on a freeway you will come to a freeway where it says where it's perfectly legal for you to drive on the right hand shoulder yes the right hand shoulder but as long as there's a light it says green on it that means you can just go if it says red you cannot drive on it so that's pretty awesome and then this in the middle of the city of atlanta somewhere in atlanta and uh i can't think of the street but uh but i was there i was there and uh i went to uh hotel six for a uh, stay like a few nights and I came across this street in the middle lane. You can ride on that too, but it has to. But the light has to be green. It is usually is green with an arrow. It says for you to go. And then on the other day, it'll go from green with an arrow. It'll go with an X, which means you cannot drive on it. But as long as you see a green with the arrow on on your lane, you can drive on the middle section. It's perfectly legal. The same with the off hand or the right, the right shoulder. You can do that too, as long as you see the green arrow. And it says for you to go, you can just drive on it. You cannot do that here in, in uh, California. You can drive in the middle lane no, no less than, no more than 199 feet or 200 feet. If you do anything on that, you get a ticket. And you cannot ride or drive on the right hand shoulder on the freeway either. You get a ticket for that too. So that's something to think about. You want to move to Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, if you go to uh, northeast of Atlanta, there's a city called. Uh, Damn, uh, can't think of the name. Is Marietta? Marietta, it's where they filmed this uh, movie called uh, Scarlet, which is the second, which is a sequel to Gone with the Wind. I have the complete DVD. I have the complete set of that movie, and uh, and part two is called, it's called uh, damn, it's called uh, not Marietta. It's called God damn it, Scarlet. There we go, Scarlet. It's it's a sequel to Gone with the Wind. Um, if you go up north from Atlanta, I don't know how many miles, maybe 25, 30 miles, there's a place, there's a city called uh, Alpharetta, which is known as the Silicon Valley of Atlanta. They have big techs, big, uh, big corporation there. Any, any corporation, any IT corporation is there as well. Um, the cost of living is very cheap so just to give you an idea what it what uh what it was it, it cost me it costed me about for one bedroom about i think 1500 square feet total total everything from the living room to the bathroom to the bathroom to the kitchen everything about 1500 square feet it cost me 475 a month yeah and uh yeah so that's cheap right but the uh down the deposit is like 500 bucks a month i mean not 500 bucks man take it back it's 500 a year 
but at 475 a month and I didn't get the deposit back because they told me if you run here you will not get the deposit back because we give you discount already so if you think about it the average home there uh, the average apartment or one studio at a 1500 square feet will cost you about five five fifty a month so I got it at a 475 which is same thing as like with the deposit it'll be like 500 something a month so which is a great deal man i didn't get my deposit back which sucks ass big time but anywho that's the best place to live you know uh the place where i live i'm the only asian guys there yeah i'm the only asian we had a 99 percent african-american and i'm the only guy there. they treated me like they treated me like human being you know it it's all depends on who lives there you know, you got bad people live there, then, hell, yeah, as far as I live there, I don't see any, anything going on at all, there, there was no crime, nothing, there was no shouting, fighting, none of that, uh, like I said, it's seasonal, so, during winter, or fall, fall is gonna get cold, and then, uh, winter is gonna get snow, so, we got snow there, and I was living on top of a hill, you know, it, it it's not a straight line, all their roads are not as straight as what you get here in uh, in California. Everything is like up and downhill. Like you go uphill and then you go downhill. It's like that. A slippery slope. Even at the parking structure, you, uh, the place I live, it's all flat. The the parking spot. But you go find this other place like uh, in the middle of Atlanta, you would have up and down. You got a parking lot where you go upwards and downwards. I'm like, man, that was a dangerous stuff. But luckily nobody... Uh, I never seen any accident related to parking at all. Oh, you know how here in uh, in California you have uh, the regular tire, and then if you want the seasonal tire, it costs you more. In Atlanta, Georgia, anywhere in Atlanta, in Georgia, anywhere in the East Coast. Well, I'm speak for all East Coast, but I say in Atlanta, in Georgia alone, a seasonal tire is required, and it's cheaper to get a seasonal tire because because the state is seasonal than it is to get a like a like a summer tire or a racing tire uh seasonal tire is required in georgia i'm serious because you go there you live there and uh the place is dependent on season so rather it be rain snow summer so seasonal tire is probably mandatory or is mandated when you buy tire or you buy cars from there usually it comes with seasonal tire on it i guarantee you that just happens to be the the culture, the norms, you know, the climate, the climax. Yeah. But yeah, overall, living in Atlanta was great, man. If if I had to go back there, well, I didn't have anybody. I didn't have a girlfriend, none of that. I was looking for someone, but it's hard as it is to get anybody. And uh, at the time, I was I was with the National Guard. I made about yeah, uh, we had a usually we had a four day drill. I made about uh eight nine k for the entire year and then i did my taxes georgia state didn't even recognize my va uh health care so so they took away my taxes and as supposed to get me back my refund they took away my taxes I'm like god man could have given me back my refund oh yeah georgia just like in cali you got federal tax state tax unless you live in uh texas Florida or Las Vegas, Nevada. And that's the end for my talk today.